20 through 22. It says, My son, attend unto my word, incline thy ear unto my saying, let, let them not depart from thy eyes, keep them in the midst of thy heart. And it says, For they, for they are what? For they what? Are life unto those that what? Find them in health to all their what? Flesh. And so here's how God heals. Y'all ready? Now, the word health in this passage in the Hebrew is, is, is marpi, which is another word in the English for medicine. You look it up in your strong concordance, you're going to see that it translates to marpi, and it's going to be defined as medicine or cure. So if you want to be healed, somebody say, you just got to take your medicine. Now, if you think about it, if you, if you get some kind of infection and they give you an antibiotic, you got to take that antibiotic probably about five days, ten days, depending on what it is, and they tell you you got to take what? All of it, because if you don't take all of it, what'll happen? It'll come back worse, and it says your body probably will resist the medicine next time. It'll build up an immunity to it, right? It'll come, but they tell you you got to take all of it. You can't just, you can't just hear the word today. You got to be in the word every day. You got to eat the word every day. If it's going to come alive in your life, you got to have a personal relationship with the word. You got to be in constant fellowship with the word. Somebody say you got to take all of it. And then when, it's, when I say you got to take all of it, you can't just take the part of the word that you like. You may like the word on healing and on money, but you might not like the word on living right. Somebody say you got to take all of it because all of it works together. Amen. Healing is for everybody. Healing is for everybody. But, but you won't know it's for you if you don't know the word or you won't experience it if you're not taking your medicine.